Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I'm talking to you from a very windy Malta. Uh, tennis would not be fun today, uh, but I'm talking to you about strings that I've tried over a certain period of time and uh, I've enjoyed them. They're top spin strings, it's a German brand. Uh, the written review have, has been out on tennisnerd.net, always check that out. Please also subscribe to this channel, much appreciated, cost zero as most YouTube channels. So for this review I tried four uh, polyester strings from Top Spin. One is a poly hybrid, poly poly hybrid, and the other ones are uh, different polyesters. Uh, you shouldn't use polyester strings if you have arm issues, something I repeat quite a bit. But most other players uh, enjoy polyesters because of their increased control and durability and spin potential. But you can play high level tennis also with a multi-filament string. But I haven't tried any of their, their multi-filament strings. You can check out uh, their strings on their website, uh, topspin.de, something like that. I'll put it in, in the in the video. So these are made in Germany, not made in China, which is interesting. Uh, they have a string factory there. I think most strings are made in the same factory with different specification. Uh, my favorite string of the bunch uh, was the one that's probably the most famous. It's called Cyber Flash. It's a round polyester string uh, that I really enjoy. I used it in the Prestige uh, Pro, the new Prestige Pro and my old Prestige MP uh, in that comparison review and I, I did really enjoy this string. Uh, reminded me of Silver String uh, from Vice Canon RS Leon or Allo Power. These are other strings that this one feels quite similar to. Uh, but this is probably uh, maybe one of my favorites of those. Uh, it's quite hard to compare, sometimes they are so similar. But this string uh, held tension really well, comes in at a great price so you can buy a reel quite cheap. Uh, let me check my own review to know the price. It's um, $7.49 for a set uh, from Tennis Warehouse. Uh, a reel from Tennis Warehouse Europe costs 52 euros approx. So very good string for the price. With a round poly, it's nice to mix it up with a uh, multifilament or natural gut string for a nice hybrid setup. Uh, hybrid setups gives you a bit more power, a bit more feel. Uh, a little bit of the best of both worlds. So you can always try a hybrid setup uh, if you want a more soft and powerful setup. Uh, so no massive spin potential from Cyber Flash, uh, just really good dependability, the control is nice, holds tension well, nothing outrageous in tension maintenance from either of these strings, but I felt like they, they last pretty much above average for polys. It doesn't, they don't drop uh, significantly more than anything else. And uh, I would say the comfort is pretty good. Like some people call this stiff. I didn't feel like it was stiff at all. Felt like it's kind of the typical string that I like around polyester that's dependable and that's um, controlled, uh, but not too stiff. So I felt like this one has a pretty good comfort for a polyester string and a very good all round string if you're into round polys. I, you do see some more uh, spin potential from shaped polys. But overall, I kind of prefer uh, the rounder poly for a bit more comfort. Usually shaped polys are a bit more uh, intense on your arm and they don't last as long. That's been my experience testing strings for, for a long time now. So uh, yeah, the Cyber Flash is one of my favorite strings right now. Uh, just top-notch string and uh, I'll, I'll keep using it. I, I ended up using all the sets I got and uh, now I would happily actually buy a reel of the Cyber Flash because it's that good. Uh, very happy with that string. I do like round strings, so maybe that's one reason, but, but it's a very good string. The second string I tried uh, was a Hybro Spin. And this is interesting, this is a bit more expensive. It's a 20 euro for a set. It's a um, polyester string uh, with two different colors, uh, which look pretty cool. Depending on the racket, I paired it with the Pacific X-Fast LT for a very uh, nice pairing with colors like the black and the blue. Uh, this one has good spin potential, but I felt like it's a softer string general, in general with these two strings paired together. Uh, control was good. Uh, comfort was above average, in my opinion, for a, for a poly string. Uh, nice spin, uh, nothing outrageous in spin, but I like the feel of this string setup. I think it, it felt maybe even better than Cyber Flash. Uh, so, so the Hybro spin is very nice. The only issue, I, I think, generally with this string, I could keep using it in, in other rackets as well, uh, but I, I felt like the price point is quite, 
quite uh, aggressive. So uh, 20 euros for a set is, is expensive for most players when you can get quality polys for for six, seven euros a set, such as uh, the Cyber Flash, for example. So, uh, so the price is a bit high. Uh, the idea is that it's an uh, aggressively sided string, so it's like a shaped string and a round string together to create softness, but also a bit more spin, that nice blend. And today, uh, polyester combos like poly-poly hybrids have become quite popular. So uh, you'll see more of that. There's some pros using different poly combinations. Dominic Team used it uh, famously a while back when he was testing other brands than Babolat for his strings. Monfils uses that all the power element hybrid, for example. A few other players use that one. Uh, so, so hybriding two polys, I think Musetti uses a poly hybrid as well. Uh, Hawk Touch and Hawk and Lynx Tour. Don't quote me on that one, but the info should be somewhere on my site. Um, but yeah, so a poly poly hybrid can definitely work if you want to accentuate one thing from one string and, and then uh, maybe reduce the stiffness or yeah, create some kind of effect. So you have to be a mad scientist and, and play around with, with the strings. But Hybrid Spin, it was a nice string. Uh, I did like it. I like that they put it in a hybrid like this, but maybe the price point is a bit high with 20 euros. That would be my, my pay peeve from this one. So I, I'd go personally for Cyber Flash just to save a bit of, of money in that sense. Now we're getting to their two spin strings. Like I said, I got four sets. And uh, they have two uh, spin strings that are easy to mix up because they have similar name. Uh, one is called Top Rotation, which is the one I, I tested in a few different rackets, uh, more, most not noticeably the Extreme Tour, which is one of my favorite rackets. And this string is definitely more for top spin players, hard hitting players that need durability. Uh, it's all about getting more, more spin potential and uh, the control is very good with the string. Stiffness a, a little bit higher, uh, definitely. Uh, not a string I, I choose because of that. I, I don't like that stiff feel from a poly. If you're a big hitter that breaks strings, then this could be more interesting. But if, you have a play, if you're a player with any kind of arm issue or you like a bit of a more plushness to the string bed, I think this one gets a little bit stiff. This is definitely for aggressive, hard-hitting players. Uh, I would definitely look at it from a more advanced player point of view because you really need to bend the string and get some, you know, to actually maximize the, the benefits of the durability and the, the control from the string. It's a good control and spin string. I mean, I con can compare it to Torbite in a way. This one is, is five-sided, uh, gray as well, so it is in that segment. So if you like Torbite, this one is probably a little bit more comfortable, but in that same range. And uh, a good spin string, just a bit too stiff for me. Held tension really well uh, in my Extreme Tour, actually. Uh, it's been, been in that racket for a while, so that's a good thing. So if you're a string breaker, if you want a very spinny string, this string could definitely be uh, on your list. It's a little bit more expensive than Cyber Flash as well. I think it's 1090. I haven't seen it on any of the retailers, such as Tennis Warehouse, uh, but you can buy it from the, ten, uh, the Top Spin uh, website. So uh, that, that's where you, you, you find these. Uh, so yeah, a spinny string and quite uh, good for players who hit big. If you don't hit big, if you're more of a finesse player, I, I wouldn't go for this string. Uh, max rotation, maximum rotation. This one takes it to the next level with the amount of spin you're getting out of it. It's seven-sided black. Sometimes, color, as you know, color does affect the string. And this one is for you massive big hitters. Maybe you're playing a pure arrow, maybe you're breaking strings all the time. Then this string is interesting. Seven-sided, like a lot of spin. Durability, not as good. And uh, I, I did find it quite stiff, so it's not for me. And it might not be for most of you. But for some big hitters that want durability, maximum spin potential, I think this string is interesting. Uh, so not really much of of comfort there, but great control, great spin. You can string it really low. Uh, I actually did it in my Prestige MP. I strung it around 18 kilos. Is that 40 pounds? Something like that. And uh, it, it actually played really nicely, but, but I still prefer a softer polyester. And in these kind of rackets, I usually want to go for a hybrid, technically. So uh, definitely a spin monster, very spinny string, and uh, definitely a, an interesting one if that's your cup of tea. Uh, so it's for you who wants to hit big. Since it's such an aggressively shaped string, like seven sides, it, it does cut your fingers a bit when you string it. it. It does feel quite harsh on your fingers. It's not a big deal. It's not like you're bleeding from your fingers, but just for your information, I kind of prefer stringing 
around strings, partly due to that. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good spin string. Uh, overall, these, these four strings from Top Spin were all positive experiences. Uh, nothing standout-ish, to be fair. I mean, it's tough to stand out with a poly. There's so many different brands creating quite similar strings today and, and many, many good ones. The one that I must say give a, an extra thumbs up in this playtest was the Cyber Flash. I really liked the response. It wasn't too stiff. I liked that it produced some spin, but not overly so. I held tension well. Uh, it's the winner for me out of these top spin strings. Price point is excellent. I know many of you want a cheaper poly, and there are many brands now that offer you good polys for a less uh, expensive price, such as you know MSV, um, such as MSV Pros Pro, uh, and also this top spin string. And this would be a, a safe bet for me if I wanted a budget string, uh, a budget poly. Uh, that this would be a, a good choice, I think. So, um, so definitely the top spin. Cyber Flash is the winner in my opinion. If you're a big hitter, I don't think you can go wrong with top rotation or max rotation. They're both good. I prefer uh, top rotation, felt a little bit softer, still holds tension well and all that stuff. I think sometimes when you go like seven sided or you go a bit crazy, the durability also is hampered a bit. So that would be my take on the, the top, uh, the max rotation. Yeah, I can confuse these a bit. I would probably rename them to something that makes them stand out a bit more from each other. But uh, top rotation is good. Uh, I did like the hybrid, but I felt the price point was a bit high. I uh, definitely had good comfort and a nice playability, but uh, it's, it's a little bit high for a poly set, I think 20 euros. So that would be my my issue with, with that string mainly. Okay, that's pretty much it about these top spin strings. I had so much footage for this video that I wanted to include. Obviously hitting footage is something I wanna have in my videos. Uh, but the issue is I lost so much data and recorded footage on, on my hard drive when my computer decided to stop working. Uh, I couldn't retrieve everything. I managed, thanks to you guys, to retrieve a lot of it. Uh, you had some really good tips in the comments section, uh, really life-saving tips. So big thanks for that. Uh, really happy to have a community that, that cares and can actually give advice. And, and I really appreciate all of you. Uh, so thanks for saving my, my MacBook and some of my data, but some data was, was uh, lost in the process, partly due to my own fault, of course, because I didn't back everything up, which I now do uh, on a more frequent basis, and I'm, I'm paying more attention to that stuff. So uh, I hope you found this review useful. Definitely some solid strings. Uh, poly strings are uh, an abundance in the market. There's so many good poly strings. Uh, you need to wade through the jungle and when you find a string that you really like, I would suggest you maybe stick to that one so you don't get confused because they, there are many there. But there are, you know, different options you can try if you have a string but you want to make it softer, you can make it, you can go for a hybrid, uh, try it with a softer string, a multi, a uh, natural gut or even a softer poly. Uh, or you can find a string that's pretty similar but just a little bit softer, a little bit different in feel. So there, there's so much choice now. So it's really up to you what you want out of your string uh, setup. Any questions about strings, you just put them down below. I'll do a Q&A very soon, so we'll, we'll get into that stuff. And I do get questions every day if on all my different media, and I know it can be frustrating that I can't reply to you on Instagram messages and stuff, but it's just for my own sanity because I get so many messages and emails and and uh, on all the platforms, and I'm just trying to be helpful, but sometimes it's just an overload and I can't really cope then to, to reply. And I don't want to be rude, but you know, it's, it's just the life of being a creator and putting yourself out there. And it can be, it'll be quite tough to, to deal with all the feedback you get. Uh, so that's about it, pretty much. Uh, if you want to support the work I do, join Patreon, patreon.com slash tennis nerd. You can also send a donation on PayPal or, or just buy anything through the links in the description uh, below. You have some good stuff there, top court, Great video instruction. You can check out my buddy's Nikki's um, courses on from Armstrong Customs. You want to buy something, there's Tennis Warehouse and so on and so on. But the main thing I would ask of you is to subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel grow and be seen by more people, which uh, inspires me to make more content. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis.